Today we are going to cover three stories. We're going to uh, talk about takeaways from the U.S.-Africa summit. Putin is next step on this Ukraine war. And we are also going to talk about the schizophrenic Joseph Borrell. His racist comment about African youth being stupid. All right. It's sad, you know, but uh, that's, it is what it is. All right. So I am Bob Sankarian. And I want to ask you for do not forget to subscribe, hit the like, and thank you for watching. All right. 49 African leaders meet President Biden in Washington um, this week for a three day summit. And Joe Biden told Africans that uh, the U.S. is on their side, okay, showing interest in Africa to compete with Chinese and Russia as the Africa is for as if Africa is for sale. I mean, some of our leaders behave as if uh, Africa is indeed for sale. Puppets, okay? The last president to organize this event was President Obama eight years ago. And then, after the election, Donald Trump was very clear that he ate Africans. So he did not try to approach, approach us. And this meeting, his ob uh, objective is to facilitate business deal with African, you know, African countries, but their main objective is to persuade Africans to choose partnership with the U.S. instead of China and Russia, because the majority of the countries in Africa are leaning more toward Russia and China. And President Biden uh, announced that uh, he's going to give billions in support for food security investment in the private sector and and he committed to uh, supporting Africa's growth and creating steps for sustained business engagement between um, American and African companies all right so because African continent is use youthfulness potential for progress over 60 percent of the African population is under 24 years old totaling around 860 million young Africans. Uh, it is believed that uh, by 20, 2050, African youth population uh, will grow to 1.3 billion young people. Also, it is projected that Africa will take over and become the largest world economy. Therefore, no one wants to, to miss the opportunity that Africa has to offer right now and in the future. Africa's future is bright. Everyone knows it. Biden also announced a hundred million investment to expand the Young African Leader Initiative. And the second takeaway is China growing influence in Africa, which uh, bothers the U.S. And America's real motive to invest in Africa is to compete with China, and we all know it. And China already invested over 254 billion dollars in Africa compared to 63.3 billion US wants to invest in Africa. America is trying to catch up with China but at the same time they don't want African leaders to understand that the only reason why the US is dealing with Africans is another attempt to exploit uh, the continent like Europeans did during the colonization where millions of Africans were taken advantage of enslaved and assassinated. The U.S. wants military bases in Djibouti, Niger, Somalia, and Angola, which is a very bad idea. It's foolish to, to allow any country to build a military base in your country. Djibouti already has like uh, so many. They have Chinese and American military bases there, where China pays the $20 million a year for a 10-year lease and the U.S. pays 63 million a year in Djibouti. And the Djibouti says they depend on this basis for protection. I think this is dumb, stupid. Biden also told Africans, that, African leaders, that the U.S. wants to listen to African people and what's important to us. Uh, the U.S. promised to invest billions in trade, especially in sustainable energy, health system, agribusiness, digital connectivity, infrastructure, and finance. 
I want to say this to African diaspora. All of you that are watching me right now, the best business you can invest in Africa is agribusiness because agriculture will make you a millionaire. If you are watching this and, uh, and live outside Africa, I am encouraging you to invest in Africa, in agriculture, okay? Because agriculture is the best way to go, my people, all right? So we're gonna move to Russia. So Vladimir Putin says that uh, um, we are slowly marching toward a nuclear war. He says he will not launch a nuclear weapon. He doesn't want to be the first or the second to do that, but Russia will, under all circumstances, defend their motherland against an invasion or if they continue to be eat by long-range weapons from uh, from nato states you uh, that ukraine is using so it looks like uh, the west is literally asking for nuclear armageddon vladimir putin was holding um his cup of wine um uh, when a reporter called svetlana asked him a question about nuclear war putin says that the possibility of nuclear strike on Russia territory is very limited. However, they are ready to defend themselves if attacked. And for them, their weapons of mass destruction are a means of protection against the West, its predatory behavior. That's only, only there for uh, retaliation. He says the, they don't talk about the possibility of using nuclear weapons, but former British Prime Minister uh, whom he didn't mention a name, but was referring to Lee Truss, who says that she was ready to use nuclear weapon against Russia. Putin said that they haven't gone crazy. They are very aware of what nuclear weapons can do, and they they don't want uh, they don't want to have the intention. They don't they don't they don't have intention to use them. And he also says that Russian nuclear weapons are in a more advanced and modern form than any other nuclear country. He says it's an obvious fact. He says that uh, they will not brandish nuclear weapon like a razor running around the world. Uh, but well, my friends, I'm happy to hear, you know, to hear that from Putin. At least I can, uh, I can start sleeping better. And probably aliens probably are looking down at us and saying, these humans are very stupid, you know, which is, they're right. We are stupid sometimes. Well, Joseph Borrell, the Italian psycho, do you guys remember him? I want you all to remember this, okay? Every racist person has a psychiatric disorder, like a schizophrenia, okay? This old fart, psychopath, is one of those people with a psychiatric disorder. He's a schizophrenic. Okay, so never get mad at racist people because they are schizophrenics. Okay, this is schizophrenic Joseph Borrell strike again by saying that African youth and people from the Balkans are stupid. Well, if you guys remember this, is the same psychopath that called Europe the garden and the rest of the world a jungle. He says during an interview that youth from African countries uh, who support Russia did not know who Vladimir Putin was or where is Donbass located during a section uh, of the European Union Special Committee on Foreign Interference. He also says that uh, Russia is a master in deflection, twisting reality, and was able to find an audience in some part of the world. He says that um, he has seen in in TV, young stupid Malians in Bamako, with billboards saying, "Thanks, Vladimir Putin. You have to. I mean, you you have saved Donbas, and you will save us." He says that it's very shocking seeing that. He also says that the same thing is uh, is happening in Balkans. Well, let me tell you what I think about um, this. If we Africans do not stand up for ourselves by choosing wisely, whom? we want to become president and represent us wisely. If we do not stop seeing this European as our saviors, they will keep exploiting and disrespecting us. Because majority of Africa 
presidents are idiots. They have no leadership skills to lead. They are only there for their benefit and to steal. They ate their own skin color. If they could, if they could, they would change their skin color like Michael Jackson did, like that Dominican celeb celebrity, what's his name? Sammy Sosa did, okay? Look, we need to get rid of dictators like Teodoro Biang in Gemma, in Equatoria Guinea, Paul Biang in Cameroon, and others who grab power for decades after if they own the country. Uh, they have to stay in power until they die. There's nothing they can they, they can show positive, okay? They did other than you know other than stealing from their 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 own people. African youth need to rise up and take down you know these people. We gotta get rid of traders that own on top stealing and contributing to all the bad things we Africans have to endure across this planet. Africa needs a revolution from north to south, west to east. We have to unite. It is a necessity. Africa must unite into one country with 54 states. This is Bob Sankarian. Thanks for watching.